Hello everyone and welcome to Body Bags. I'll be your review for today. I'm Lonnie from Terran Tats and I'm sure if you've been following the videos we've been doing this week, we've been doing a potpourri of labels where each of us gets to pick a label and do a, um, you know, do a selection from that label and we can talk about the movie itself and we can talk about, you know, the label as a whole or just, you know, what our opinions are of it. And, uh, you know, actually it's kind of fitting because if you can see behind me there do you see all those Dario Argento movie posters there you know there's like Cat of Nine Tails, Burr with the Crystal Plumage, Creepers, Deep Red, Tenebrae I don't even know why I'm going on with this you guys already know what movie I'm going to talk about you know by the title um the one that I'm talking about is the uh beautiful beautiful Severn 4k of opera and, uh, yeah, I don't even know, now that I think about it, has this ever even been done on the channel? Probably. But, uh, anyway, yeah, I went ahead and picked it because, I mean, why not? You know, this is a beautiful release, probably one of the best, um, releases that have come out this year. And, uh, you know, yeah, there is a problem, there was a problem with it. And, uh, the, uh, I believe the color timing was off on the 4K, but not to worry, you know, thank you, Severn. They sent the replacement disc. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful edition. Uh, except for kind of like the... You see, kind of like, looks like fingerprints up there, you know? Uh, that may just be the cover. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, the story is... I remember when I was... First, when I was getting ready to watch this, I honestly thought that... This was Dario Argento going to do his version of Phantom of the Opera. Little did I know that in 1998, Argento did do his version of Phantom of the Opera, which I have reviewed on the channel before. I've already given my thoughts on that one. But I remember thinking, like, you know, at first, you know, um, you know, like, hearing about it in Fangoria and stuff like that, I mean, that's what went through my mind. Just, oh, okay, so Dario Argento, is this is going to be his version of phantom of the opera and uh turns out it it's like it kind of is but it kind of isn't at the same time um the story um it, it does kind of follow a similar path as phantom of the opera but it does take some twists and turns so it's not a it's not a direct adaptation of gaston larose novel um in the beginning there is a uh there is a opera singer named uh, mara and uh, she gets hit by a car as opposed to in Phantom of the Opera where uh, the singer, um, I forget, I forget the name, but uh, she almost gets killed by a falling like chandelier, I believe it was. And uh, so she ends up being replaced by Christine in Phantom of the Opera. Well, in this version, uh, Mara, she gets hit by a car and then Betty, who, uh, ends up being her basically her understudy she gets to be the star of the, the opera and funny kind of a twist on it is her character's name is betty and then the uh, opera that she's doing is a version of Macbeth. but at first betty doesn't want to do um she doesn't want to do the opera because she believes that doing an opera or doing any kind of production of Macbeth is bad luck but she goes ahead and she goes along with it um and then uh, she starts, you know, people start saying she's going to be a star and everything else. And then this mass, you know, there's definitely a very strong Giallo vibe in this movie. Because you get the Black Glove Killer who abducts uh, Christina, or not Christina, Betty. And has this little trick where he, you know, tapes uh, like sewing needles to her eyes. So she's not able to close her eyes. So she ends up having to be forced to watch uh, this killer, uh, you know, enact horrible murders on people that she cares about. Um, there is a difference between this and Phantom of the Opera as well, because in Phantom of the Opera, um, basically, Eric did everything he could to ensure Christine's success and that he loved her and wanted her to succeed and would would take out anybody that would get in the way of Christine succeeding. Whereas in this movie here, um, he, 
the uh, the killer is very much. I'm not going to give away who it is, but the killer is very much. Um, he's very antagonistic of Betty, and uh, you know there is a part earlier in the film where she goes to a celebration for the opera with her boyfriend, and after her and her boyfriend have made love, um, she you know he she he he she. Um, the killer ends up, you know, tying her up and like I, you know, said with the needles to her eyes so she can't look away and she has to watch him kill her boyfriend. Um, and then, um, basically like, you know, telling her that she's a whore and, you know, uh, basically insults her and puts her down and, you know, and tells her that he owns her and things like this. And then, you know, you bring in a detective and the detective is on the trail trying to find out who the killer is. Um, Daria Nicolodi, uh, who was uh, Argento's ex-wife, she makes an appearance in this film. Um, but then it's basically, a, you know, it's a murder mystery, like trying to find out who the killer is. And uh, this, uh, you know, I think to a lot of people, this is probably considered like Argento's last great film. Um... I don't know if I I don't know if I agree with that or not. I mean, he did some good stuff here and there. Uh, I know you know uh, his version of *Femme of the Opera* and his version of *Dracula* are both very de you know divisive films. But uh, you know, still, there's not really much more I can say about what the movie's about without giving anything away. I mean, that's pretty much it. It's it's a murder mystery. It's a you know it's definitely a giallo. Like, yeah, like Phantom of the Opera as a giallo. That's probably the best way to describe it. And uh, it's all about, you know, trying to um, figure out who the killer is before the killer, you know, takes out Betty. And, uh, yeah, I think that's probably about all I can say without spoiling it. So I'm not going to spoil it. Um, a great film. Beautifully done. Uh, just great soundtrack. Um, you know, just, oh, wow. You know, does uh who does the music on this is it uh no i don't think no it doesn't say here who does the music on here uh sorry no it doesn't say who does the music on here uh, i was trying to see if it was like claudio simonetti you know but um it might be you know but uh anyway a really really good movie a great mystery murder mystery uh like i said with a touch of phantom of the opera thrown in and i definitely recommend it you know if you're a fan of giallos you're a fan of phantom of the opera and you, you know especially if you're a fan of dario argentos you're definitely gonna love this movie it's you know a great well-made well-crafted you know you know great horror film and uh yeah it, it i would say if there was one thing that kind of bugged me about it, it just feels kind of like the kind of the climax of the movie kind of feels like it goes on just a little bit longer than it should but uh, other than that, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a great film and a, a great horror cult classic. And the fact that um, now we're going to start talking about uh, Severin, the fact that Severin got a hold of this and they did this amazing, amazing edition of this movie. And just, it's so beautiful. I mean, it's, you know, this is, look at that, you know, the beautiful box set, you know, and you got your, you got your 4K disc in there. You got your booklet, you know, of course. So, go ahead, we'll put that out. Unfortunately, yeah, this is not a very hard box. It's just kind of a thick cardboard, but still. But just the feel of it, you know, it has a beautiful, I want to say like a matte feel to it, but it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And then here, you know, like, wow. Just a, a little bit. Mm. Anyway. So yeah, this is actually a five disc set. And there you go. You got your original cover art and everything. And then look at that. And this thing is chock full of bonus features. Um, let's see here. I'm sorry. I'm not going to read all this. Uh, but anyway, let me see. You can pause it there. Maybe you can read like what all is on there. And you even get a CD soundtrack with it. You know, you got your beautiful, this is the original cover art. And then you can see Betty with the needles under her eyes. Which was a really clever, interesting uh, idea that, you know, Argento came up with. And, oh wait, this doesn't have a, I'm surprised, this doesn't have a reversible cover. 
Wow, how interesting is that? But here you go. You got the uh, there, and then you got your. There you go. There's the 4K. Then you got uh, your two Blu-rays there. Uh, this one is this one is the director's cut and the U.S. cut, and this one is a director's cut. Oh, okay, that's the difference. Okay, this one here. The director's cut and the U.S. cut is 235 to 1 aspect ratio, where this one is the director's cut in 185 to 1 aspect ratio. Then here you got your bonus features on here, and then you got your CD soundtrack. You know, and that's the thing. I mean, the idea that... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show the booklet real quick, too. There you go. You get it. Well, you're a horror fan. You know, chances are you've seen this before, so... But you get this nice book booklet here with you know all kinds of great info there's the man himself argento yeah you go that's the uh, director of the opera in the movie there you go oh yeah the part with the style the murder scene with the the uh, costume stylist oh and that was that's pretty gra gruesome you know there you go so yeah just you know really really beautiful and uh, as you can see, I mean, look at that, you know, great production value on that film. So, but yeah, and uh, now just the idea, you know, we're going to talk about how Severn, you know, for the longest time, they did not really, they put out a lot of stuff, but, you know, just a lot of the uh, movies they put out were just kind of like, eh, I mean, a lot of it was like stuff you didn't really hear about. What really, really kicked it off for you know, Severn, and what really, you know, like, knocked them into the stratosphere of, you know, physical media collecting was uh, when they did their version of, um, I think that one was a six-disc set of, uh, or at least four, I don't remember, but, uh, yeah, when they did their uh, their edition of uh, De La Morte, De La More, you know, Cemetery Man, and that was so, like, just, that just blew the lid off of everything, you know, that was a movie that, you know, long out of print, if you were very, very lucky, you might have been able to come across the um, the Anchor Bay DVD, Rob, our Wednesday reviewer, he's got that. But for a long time, nothing, no Blu-ray, no other, you know, no other version of that. And then for them to come out and just give it the absolute just Cadillac treatment, you know, the 4K and everything else and the Blu-ray soundtrack and everything else. I mean, they just did an amazing job with it. And, you know, they really showed Severn as, you know, even though they were already, they really, really showed Severn as a company, as a physical media company to be reckoned with. And this just, you know, this just pushes the envelope even more. And I will say, like, I am just, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to find out, like, what do they have in store for us come, you know, Black Friday this year? Like, what are they going to have? I can't wait to find out. You know, there's all kinds of things they can be working on right now. They could be doing maybe, I don't know, they could be doing like House on the Edge of the Park. Um, uh, I know like, uh, was, it was 88 films. They just put out like 4Ks of uh, Anthropophagus and Absurd. And, you know, usually you find out like, that's the thing. You know, when 88 films put something out on 4K, Usually, like, you know, maybe six months to a year down the road, um, Severn will put out their version of it, and they usually give their versions all the bells and whistles. So there's no telling. There's no telling what else we can be getting from them. But, I mean, just, you know, the fact that they put so much work and effort into a release of this movie, a movie that everybody wanted, myself included, um, this was a huge, huge step up from the... the uh, was it Scorpion Blu-ray and uh, just so many more bonus features and everything else. I mean, they went above and beyond for this and it's like, it makes me support them or makes me want to support Severn even more. And the fact that, you know, when it came out and, you know, it came out pretty quick that the 4K had an issue with it, that there was a problem with the, uh, the, the color timing on it. And, uh, you know, you know, what it ended up having to do nothing because i bought this from their website i didn't have to do a doggone thing all i had to do was sit and wait and sure enough no problem they sent the replacement disc and the replacement disc 
is so much better. I mean, it is very much, you know, like, okay, yeah, you know, uh, infinitely better than, you know, and that was the thing. You know, the funny part is, is like the original 4K that came with this edition wasn't even that bad. I mean, it didn't look like a bad transfer, but it's like when you get the, um, you know, you get the replacement disc with the right color timing and stuff, it definitely makes a huge difference. So, and I mean, just, you know, like the fact that like, you know, you didn't have to do anything, you know, like that was cool. You didn't have to try to get all their customer service. You didn't have to call or email or any of that kind of stuff. You know, like you knew, you know, if you bought this edition from their website, you knew if there was going to be an issue with the disc, all you had to do was sit and wait. And sure enough, it came out. Yes, there was a problem with the 4K with the color timing on the transfer. So all you had to do, sit wait and boom there you go got the replacement disc easy peasy so yeah so uh severin is definitely becoming a is definitely becoming a very very favorite uh boutique company of mine and uh you know like and i bought quite my share of severin blu-rays and 4ks and i can't wait to see it like i like i said i can't wait to see what the future holds but uh, i mean just the fact that they took this movie and gave it so much beautiful love and attention it's like even the lettering here is embossed and all that kind of stuff i mean to give you this the ultimate you know edition of this movie and the fact that it all panned out and the fact that there was a problem with it and they fix it and you didn't even you didn't even have to do a thing all you had to do was just sit and wait so but yeah i definitely recommend i believe um i believe that there already is or there is going to be a more uh, standard kind of streamlined version of this release coming. And I would say, honestly, um, when that comes around, or if it hasn't come around already, jump on it. Get it. You won't be you won't be disappointed, especially if you're a fan of this movie. You know, just, you know, with the new disc and everything else, with the right color timing and all that stuff. If you're a fan of Argento's opera, yeah, you're definitely going to want this. And just seven just wow and you know just with everything that you get with it nope i have it the wrong way but uh yeah with just everything you get with it i mean this is beautiful this is a this is definitely a a, a gem in my collection now and uh, i'm so happy to have it and to see the movie you know in such a great great you know just beautiful presentation so uh so yeah so i think that's pretty much about all i can say about it but uh yeah Dario Gento's opera, watch it for the movie itself. You won't be disappointed. Really, really good, solid horror mystery giallo film. And uh, you know, yeah, get the uh, you know, get the Severn edition. You won't be disappointed. So uh so that's it. So uh, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it, and I uh hope you appreciate or I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh if you did, could you please leave it a like? And if you haven't already, please go and subscribe to the Body Bags channel. Um, we have a different reviewer, one for every day of the week. I am the Friday reviewer and, uh, I say it every time. I'm still, I'm still really happy to be a part of this group and I'm really, really happy that they, you know, they still like having me around. So, so that's it everybody. So, uh, take care. Have a good night. See you all later.